Well, Booktube, it's time to make a video. It's been two or three days since I made a video, and like I've said in the past, when my wife is off from work, she's a night nurse, uh, I usually don't make videos because I like making them here in the dining room, and I don't like, I like to have complete focus and concentration on the video and uh, not any noise around me or my wife doing something. So my wife went back to work tonight. She's a night nurse, like I said. So yeah, so I'm making a video. It is uh, May the 15th, 2017. It is 814 at night here in West Michigan by Lake Michigan. Uh, we're having really warm uh, late spring weather. It's supposed to be, it was up in the high 70s today. Uh, right now it's 78 degrees inside my cell. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 80, but it's supposed to rain. So everything is turning green. Uh, the tulips have all wilted and died for another year. Tulip time is over. So town has come back to normal. The thousands and thousands of uh, mad and crazy and wandering tourists have left. So I went to thrift stores today since the traffic was not so beastly. So I went to thrift stores this morning, which I hadn't gone to in a week. And uh, this is what I found. Uh, I found this novel by Hilmel Wolitzer. I heard uh, this is uh, Meg Wolitzer is Hilma's daughter, and she's a writer also, who I collect her novels. This is, I didn't know that her mother wrote novels, but this is uh, Meg Waltz, Wolitzer's mother's, uh, his name is Hilma Wolitzer. This is her novel ending. Uh, it looked kind of interesting. It's about a family, and it's the ending of life. The It's a family, and the the father and the husband in this novel is dying with is dying with of cancer and how the family deals with that the children the wife it looks sounds kind of sad but it was uh, recommended by Harry Cruz which I'll mention later but I got in the mail today I've mentioned I was going to get the biography of Harry Cruz this is blood bone and marrow the biography of Harry Cruz, who is a very uh, well-known uh, Southern writer. This was written by Ted Gil Gilner, Blood, Bone, and Marrow, the biography of Harry Cruz. So I noticed that when I looked at, I was at Salvation Army when I got this, it was recommended by Harry Cruz and Antol Anton Boldard of the New York Times. I have his little memoir of being in Greenridge Village back in the late 50s and 60s. So anyway, familiar names. So anyway, it was only it was only 50 cents. So then I found this book I've come across in my readings over the years, and I found this library copy of it. At Salvation, it's called Night, Night Life, Night Language, Sleep and Dreams by Alvarez A. A. Alvarez. Uh, in the back, it's recommended by Philip Roth, who I have all his books, and F Robert Stone, who recently died last year. I have all his novels. And like I said, I this is like an essays on night, night life, night language, sleep, and dreams. So I found that. And uh, I found this novel by A.B. Guthrie Jr., Big Sky. He did a whole series of novels that take place in Montana. Uh, this is number one. Uh, it looked kind of interesting. It was only a quarter. 
it was recommended by Wallace Steiger, who I have all his writings, but he's written some biographies, uh, essays, short stories. He's a, a white writer of the West too, also. Then I found this, I found this at a Goodwill store, Sons of Providence, the Brown Brothers, the Slave Trade, and the American Revolution by Charles Rapide. Uh, this won the winner of the American Revolution Bound, Round Table Book Prize. It looked pretty interesting. I like 19th century American history. And uh, so I picked it up for a dollar. Then I found this novel by Larry Watson. I collect his writing. He also writes his novels, his characters take place in the West, uh, Idaho, Montana. This is his short story collection, uh, Justice by Larry Watson. He's famous for his novel, Montana, 1948. I've seen people in booktube with that novel, but I found one of his. I found this novel, but not a novel, this is like a, a study or a scientific study by James Gilrick. It's called Faster. Uh, I mentioned that I just pre-ordered his paperback edition coming out on time travel. This is his uh, study, Faster, the Acceleration of Just About Everything. Uh, I showed recently a book on going slowness, the, the virtue of being slow. This is one that we're going too fast. Everything's accelerating. Everything's zooming. And so I picked that up and I found out I had this already in my library, in our library. So I'll take it to the book nook Saturday. Then I found this another American history, Judgment Days, Lyndon Baines Johnson, Martin Luther King Jr. And the Laws That Changed America by Nick Coates. I collect books on the civil rights, Lyndon Bay Johnson, the war against poverty, books on Martin Luther King Jr. Just looked interesting. It was only, it was only, I think it was a dollar. But then I found this biography on one of the founding fathers, James Madison by Richard Rus Rusker, Rusker. So I found those today as I was out wandering around Holland. And yeah. So then I came home about 1130. I had to go to the bathroom. I was hungry. My wife was making cookies. She's having her cousins over this week for a coffee and she's making cookies. And then this afternoon, my friend came over, Tim. My wife was sleeping, taking a nap. She does that before she goes to work at night. And he needed to go to a local grocery store and there was a Goodwill across the street. And I found this novel by Nick Cave, uh, who is a very famous singer songwriter, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. I just don't get in the mail tomorrow. They just put out a new uh, retrospective of selections from his last couple albums. I'm getting that in the mail tomorrow. This is his novel, The Death of Bunny Melru. I already had in our library Nick Cave's novel, The Ass Saw the Angel. But this looks almost brand new, doesn't it? It's a nice cover, kind of pink. It has a little blurb in the back by one of my favorite British writers, Will Self. Nick Cave stands as one of the great writers on love of our era. Uh, so yeah, so I picked that up at, at Goodwill and then my friend and I went to a grocery store and got some, some food supplies. And I got in the mail today like I just showed this, um, I pre-ordered this a while back. It first came out in hardback, but I wanted to 
cheaper. I want the paperback. Uh, Blood, Bones, and Marrow, the biography of Harry Cruz by Ned Gilter. Uh, a while back, I had a video on my uh, on Harry Cruz and his books. I, sh I don't have all of them because they're really rare and if you go to Amazon, you got to pay $140, $700 for um, some of his really earlier works, which are pretty rare. But I do have a couple that are you can buy. They're kind of they're not like $40, $50. This is M Mulching of America by Harry Cruz, The Feast of Snakes by Harry Cruz. I have another Munching of America on Harry Cruz. Scar Lover by Harry Cruz. This is classic Cruz, including in their entirety, A Childhood, The Biography, which is pretty famous, uh, The Gypsy's Curse, Car, and Selection of Classic Crew Essays. So, so that's all I have by Harry Cruz. And I'm, you can't buy them, or you don't see them in thrift stores or use book sales, they're just really rare. Now everybody wants them and I'm hoping that someday somebody will reprint his works. Uh, I volunteered at the Book Nook Saturday, the library used bookstore, and I brought home Mutiny, Cain, The Cane Mutiny by Herman Walk. And I brought home The Best American Short Stories, edited by Janat. Diaz. That's all I could find. So I was looking at this tonight, and uh, but this is Monday. Uh, how successful was I? What I read over the weekend? Where well, I'm still reading The Dream Maker by Jean Christoph Rufin. Uh, I'm halfway through this. I really am enjoying this. Uh, I got, I'll be talking about this more. I'm thinking about devoting at least a little video on this book. And I did read The Ambus Drivers, Hemingway, Des Passos, and A Friendship Made and Lost in War by James McGrath Morse. I read this this weekend. I have been reading The Mad Enchantment, Claude Monet, and The Painting of the Water Lilies by Ross King. I'm really enjoying this. It's a good biography and about Claude Monet and about him painting the Water Lily series. And uh, it has a picture in here of w how it was uh, today when you go to Paris. You can see it. It's all the way around. So it's like being seeing a whole pond around you, of water lilies. I didn't read Hemingway's Sun Also Rises this weekend. I might have read a little bit of it. I think I did at the book nook. I think I read a couple of pages of it. I did get out. I was reading about uh, in here everybody behaves badly. The true story behind Hemingway's masterpiece The Sun Also Rises. I was reading here about uh, his wife. I have this book Paris Without End. The true story of Hemingway's first wife by uh, Giulio del Prieto. So I was reading about his first wife and because in here I wanted to read more about his first wife and their, because when they moved to Paris back in the 20s, they had just been recently married and, and there were some things that took place that I wanted to get a more in-depth uh, understanding of. So I, I recommend this book, Paris Without End, The True Story of Hemingway's First Wife. And I did read this weekend, The Spanish Civil War, Reaction, Revolution, and Revenge by Paul Preston. But I didn't read Spain in Our Hearts, Americans in the Spanish Civil War. I'll probably read this either tomorrow, sometime this weekend. But that's what I read over the weekend. That's what I tried to read. That's what I got at thrift stores. But like I said, I've been mainly reading these 
these things. Uh, so yeah. That's about it. Uh, as far as my what I've been reading for devotions, I forgot to bring them in here. But I'm still reading the Reformation Commentary in 1 Corinthians in the mornings. And still reading uh, John Piper, reading the Bible supernaturally. So yeah, I'm still reading those in the mornings. So I can put these books down there now, tonight, after I make this video. I have a book coming in the mail tomorrow, uh, a church history book, which I think I wrote down in my diary with the title of it. You see, the title was... I wrote it down the other day. I don't know. Oh, yeah. The Path of Christianity, the First Thousand Years, by John Anthony McClucken. That's what's coming in the mail. Today, Blood, Bone, Marrow, and Biography of Harry Cruz by Ted Gilter came in the mail today. I also got a CD by the, the new Afghan Whigs came in the mail. Uh, new, a reissue of a, a record by the Swans, The, the Great Annihilator. And I got some death metal from Belgium came in the mail. So that's what's going on in my book world over the weekend. This is the Monday Reads tonight. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm kind of tired. But hey, yeah. So I'm hoping you had a good weekend. That you have a good week. And until next time, bye.